Good afternoon, everybody. The challenges of the 2019 corn crop continue here in East Central Indiana. This is Eric Miller, field agronomist with Pioneer. I want to talk a little bit today about spongy cobs and corn. I've been getting several reports from the combine that it's difficult to get the cob cleaned out of the corn sample. Came out here in a cornfield today to showcase a little bit what we're seeing and why this is uh, evident so far in the corn crop. If you look down the line of plants here, you have a couple plants with ears still upright and a few which are already drooped over. And if you look at these ears specific that are drooped over, this is where the spongy cob comes into play. Much of this is related to the stresses of the season and the plant shutting down prematurely. But not all the hybrids will act the same, and you'll see differences from field to field this harvest. Timing of the stress plays a major role in what you might see. Some fields struggled with early saturation and a challenging stand establishment time frame. Other fields may have struggled with the drought and heat stress through the months of August and September and the fast finish to this corn crop. Some fields and some hybrids dealt with both of these issues. If you look at the cross section of this corn ear, you'll notice that this ear died prematurely. And the key feature to distinguish that is the milk line only fell about three quarters of the way down the, the kernel prior to the kernel becoming black layered. If you find, if you're combining in fields that have a, a spongy cob and you can't get the cob cleaned out of the grain sample, you may go out and break some ears open and find the same thing in your cornfield. Four recommended combine adjustments to help alleviate excess cob in the grain sample include one, slowing the rotor speed, two, tightening up the sieves, three, reducing the fan speed, and fourth, increasing ground speed to keep the machine running full. As always, if you have further questions about spongy cobs and corn, please contact your local Pioneer sales representative. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.